Gruesome Magazine. Hello once again, I am Doc Rodden and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest streaming and video on-demand horror movies. We treat my co-host that player from Cleveland, Dave Dreher, and I will take a look at very spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight, we are looking at Into the Dark, Blood Moon, uh, the latest and perhaps last of uh, the Hulu series of films from... The last, no, really? I think so. It's the final one of season two. Final one of season two because season two got broke up because of the COVID stuff. Yeah. All right, joining me tonight is my co-host Jeff Moore. Jeff, how are you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Um, yes. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I actually right. shaved about a, I knew. About a full moon, <laughs> isn't it? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I knew. <laughs> you got I like knew. what's next? Uh, and right. I'm, then I'm like, oh. I'm a one horse, one horse pony. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Actually, when I do that, my dogs start. I better, like, stop. They, they go nuts. All right. Also joining us is Crystal Cleveland, Blue and Dead Girl. How you doing? So, yep. Yep. Right. Having a good time. Having a good time. <laughs> All right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to review the movie. We're going to give our initial <laughs> thoughts. We're going to talk about it for a little bit. We might go into spoilers. And during that time. And then we'll wrap things up with our final thoughts, our score one to five and our favorite scene. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You got it. All right. But what film are we talking about? We are talking about into the dark blood moon, uh, Hulu original streaming on Hulu beginning March 25th. Although I saw 26th on one thing and 25th on the other. So it, you know, it's 26 on the poster, but 25th on other materials. So it's 25th or 26th. Uh, directed by Emma Tammy, written by Adam Mason. The cast includes uh, Megalyn, uh, a name I can't pronounce. Uh, Jonas. <laughs> you know what? It has a cast. No. <laughs> Etchikan Woke. Uh, Etchikan Woke. Yeah, something Etchikan, like that. Etchikan Woke. All right. She's a great actress, by the way. And I apologize, <laughs> Megalyn. Uh, Jonas Kibria, Joshua Dove, Marco Rodriguez, Gareth Williams, and Jack Yang. Uh, the synopsis is Esme and her 10 year old son, Luna move to a small desert town looking for a fresh start. But as locals begin to probe, Esme must battle to protect her son and a terrifying secret before the full moon exposes them. Yep. Um, I was looking forward to this as soon as we found out that it was going to be a werewolf film, right? A blood moon. All right. But let's find out. Did it succeed? Jeff, you are up first. What is your first impressions of blood moon? I think I'm going to be alone, but I like this. If you're looking for um, uh, prosthetics and werewolf transformations and stuff, you're not going to get it. So I'm just going to warn you that that's not too spoilery, but I think what you, what you get is for me was sort of the, uh, I don't know if I want to call it a character study, but I I'm trying to remember you know, I don't, I don't watch every single thing that comes along. That's, that's, uh, about werewolves, but, uh, this was a topic I hadn't seen before, um, which is you find out pretty early on a mother is raising a young boy who is a werewolf and, uh, she's trying to figure out how she can maneuver that through society, uh, while the, you know, the kid still acts like a kid sometimes. And I, I found that really interesting and uh there's actually a fair amount of kills here although they happen pretty off screen you know we just see the aftermath right mm -hmm. um but so i you know what i enjoyed it i thought the acting was good i liked her process what she was trying to do and the you know as far as uh coming into a new community and were revealed some backstory through little flashbacks that help explain things um, about when I needed them, I guess. So uh, it's not fast paced. It's not action packed. It's not, it's, it's, you know, it's sort of a family drama where <laughs> one of the members of the family is like a, a 10 year old werewolf. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. Crystal, what was your first impression of Blood Moon? Okay. Well. You've got to look. I, you got to look. <laughs> I, uh, 
I absolutely love, love, love the cast. Every single person, I think, was fantastic. I love the cinematography. I think that the way the story was told was done well, as well as could be. Um, I think the mother and the son relationship was just absolutely perfect. I think they played off each other well. I think that oh, she is so beautiful. I've, I love that actress. I think she's just fabulous. Um, now, th I love the concept of of this story with the baby wolf i mean it's precious it's awesome i understand you know how she became a single mother to to a little wolf boy i love it however i think the portion of this story of their story that was chosen to be told was incredibly drab and boring so the only thing that holds this movie back is the story and the story was boring. And like Jeff said, it's a family drama. And those are totally not my type of movie. <laughs> I think we're going to have a vomit scene right here. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> no but <laughs> but uh, it, uh, yeah. Is that how it is? is, that, is it, huh? Yeah. God, it's just, it's so, it could have been so good. I just, I think that they needed to build more action and not the action the way they built it. Like, it was just, ugh. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know if they succeeded in getting the suspense in this, in this movie. So I, there's a lot to like about this movie, but it, it falls flat. Uh, one, it feels, to me, the drama part of it felt often very lifetime-y. And not. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. And I, At least we're all in agreement. Yeah, it was, we all it was agree. a little, a little yeah, bland. Don't. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I really like the actors in this movie. I liked mm -hmm. all the cast, and the kid is fantastic. Oh yeah, uh, Megan so is, is is uh, she literally saves this movie. She is fascinating to watch. She is intense, and she's you know she's sexy. Yeah, she's and and, and you and you strong you root for her, and you're behind her. So there's a lot going on there. With her, and then the characters that she meets, like uh, the guy that runs the shop, and then the, the bar owner, although less so him. Uh, you know, you really get into them, um, and you know the so-called antagonist or believable as well. Um, but it, it it doesn't really break any new ground in that aspect. Where it does is the concept. I really love the concept of single mom out on her own. And with this particular, uh, you know, thing to try to deal with, and the con you know, the the strength that she has to do so, and and the conflicts that arise, you know, when it gets into that, like when they're in the basement, or or you know, struggling to get things done in time, you know, because everything's on a clock here, they're always on a clock, and she's always doing the math to make sure everything's right in the time and and stuff like that, and then I that was really fascinating, um, and 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 strong. Um, there's a whole thing about, you know, you know, how she, how she provides for her family, if you will. Uh, that's interesting. Um, but I, I, I never, it never really got into the tension of all that. Right. I, I felt the drama of it, but I didn't feel the tension. I didn't feel the, even when they're racing home at one point, um, I, I, you know, the, the, the reasoning and, the, and what was happening is all there, but I did. I still didn't feel the tension, right? I wasn't like, oh, oh, oh you know, and you and you want to be there. And um, the final scene that you're talking about, uh, that where the action actually gets action, um, the budget constraints really ha hamper what they could do. And they made the best choices I think they could, given that they, they you know, they're they aren't going to do on screen special effects, so it you know, what they do makes sense. Um, I just didn't find it very compelling. Uh, and in my opinion, if there ever was a film that needed a prosthetic effect at the end or a creature, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, instead of what happens is, is, is this one. Um, although if they couldn't, and this is a choice they did, 
it they it looked great. It, you know, it, it you know it was, it was a beautiful creature, but mm-hmm. uh, uh. so I I struggle with this one because I think that the potential is so strong with this movie, and I would love to see it. I, I, I would love to see this movie or the concept uh, treated again, right? Mm-hmm. I think there's I think there's something here that I think could really be mm-hmm. incredible, uh, and I don't think it's the fault of any. You know, it's not like the director's fault. It's really well directed. It's not like the cinematographer's fault. And I don't even think it's the script's fault. It's just. Yeah, I think it's know. the script's fault. And it might be part of, you know. It's when, boring. You know, yeah. And it, it might be part I of. I can tell you who's wrong here. Let me tell you. Tell us, tell us. <laughs> but yeah, let's be real. There are always. Okay, so you have a limited budget. I get it. But there are always ways to build into the script moments of tension that don't require a lot of money just i mean we've all seen it you know Mm -hmm. you can make good movies on a budget it's just it takes a lot of creative thinking and Mm -hmm. that's i know that's hard stuff yeah the biggest thing that bothered me in the script was that so when it comes to the day Right. She's got the day all mapped out. She's got these lunar calendars. She marks the calendar and everything. I'm like, there shouldn't, there are things left too much left to chance. Right. Mm -hmm. I guess from my point of view, I, well, her biggest issue where she goes, if I'm going, and I guess maybe it's a mother trying to make things as light for her kid, but I'm, I've got to go work. I'm, I'm 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 doing the security thing before I leave. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, yeah. I can't take a chance of my car breaking down on the way home, or you know. Uh, so that that was the only issue that bothered me, but I was willing to go with it. Well, the the biggest problem with her, and I know they address it too, is that she needs someone. She needed a th- she needed someone to help her, and without mm-hmm. that help, it's. A, it's totally True. insane that she's leaving a 10 year old boy by himself at night. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, and everyone in that town knows what she's doing. It's just, it's, I mean, you know, the people that know her, I just, I guess for me, I'm like, are you worried about his safety? Because there is no way, there's no way that I could do it. I'd have to figure something else out. I'd have to reach out to anybody. Or find someone that you could trust or something. I guess at the end she finally does call someone and trust someone. Maybe that's part of the story, but the arc doesn't mm-hmm. come across Mm-mm. that way. Did you guys, did you notice who the director was? No. Tammy. She also did The Wind. Oh, I, you know, oh. I love The Wind. Yeah, we like So the that might have been part of what I, I was sort of predisposed to going into something that was going to be a little less action-packed you know because the wind is is a you know very atmospheric um and the other the other person i want to mention you mentioned the acting was great all the way up and down but marco rodriguez is a guy i've liked for a long time ever since i saw him on uh he plays a street junkie on hill street blues that you you just he's he's i don't know i'm not even going to pretend to do it but he's just like so out of it that he's like twitchy he was awesome in that. And to see him now, you know, what is it? It's like 35 years later, he's playing. Uh, it's, a, it's a really gentle, caring uh, uh, character. So it, it's neat to see those ranges in an actor over the years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I did like him quite a bit. Oh, man, I didn't recognize him from Cobra and Crow. Oh, my God. Yeah, he was he was great in this. The, the guy that ran the shop. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the way he you know supports her and then you know gets crossed by her but then comes around to support her again you know even though it's not that that extreme but the uh the relationship to them is, is pretty strong and i don't yeah that was probably some of my favorite bits was the more he was involved yeah i you know? i agree and i think that maybe more of that would have been helpful perhaps like i just mm-hmm. I feel like well, I feel like the sheriff and the deputy were trite and 
unnecessary if I'm being completely honest. I think that that could have been left out to save some money maybe with the actors and that could have been put towards something else. Yeah. Well, and somebody I could have created to... other tension. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right there because I don't think we we never felt that the characters we cared about were in danger, right? Correct. Um, mm -hmm. And I never really cared about the guy that ran the bar. There was that that wasn't developed. Oh, well enough. I, actually, that I did. I I just felt what is wrong with her that she would just do that to someone. I mean, mm -hmm. to she would do that to him, it, and yet when the sheriff and the deputy come, she drops the ball. I don't know. I felt like yeah. those. She's immediately just prone to freaking action, and then not. Right. And that's a, that's once again that's a, that's a story yeah. element there. So, that has but to do with the script. yeah, but if like our like the Marco Rodriguez character, if his if his character was in danger, you know, we would we would we'd feel that right. Or if, you know, and I don't know, it, it, I think it lacked that. And I don't think, you know, having the, you know, the two police officers, them be the ones in danger, small spoilers is the, is really gonna, yeah, it, it's not presented. <laughs> Actually in, the whole police station. Oh, well, oh, well, <laughs> no, oh, well. Like... oh, well. So I, but at the same time, I, okay. I, I really was rooting for this film entirely because I love the concept. And I love werewolves. Uh, I love we haven't the, had a good werewolf movie in a long time. I Yeah, I know. And I hope so we get some soon. There's a lot of them on the horizon. I really loved the boyfriend character in the flashback. Their husband, I guess you would say, the oh, father yeah. of the child. Mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. they, the chemistry between them was so strong. And it's, it's unfortunate that we don't get to see a lot of that because that – would have made, I don't know, maybe I, that would have might yeah. have made a more interesting it, movie. But I, I really liked him a lot. The fact that he Jack was Wang. already dead made it a little irrelevant. It would yeah. see it, it just, hmm, yeah, yeah. I liked him too, though. I kind of wish maybe he wasn't dead. Or right, right. What if he just, you know, made a comeback or I don't know. I could think of so many different things mm -hmm. that weren't this, unfortunately. Yeah, but this is what we got. So this is what we have to, to go on. And I don't know. It's kind of it's hard because now I this is a tough one for me because I really liked so many elements of this. And but that's a big one. The story is huge. The story is everything. And yeah, hmm. yeah, and it did. It fell into the drama part of it a little in a dull way. Um, it it rose to the occasion on on you know at times, but for the most part, it's just like, okay, cops are going to pull her over. Okay, You're not doing anything special with it, right? Yeah, that was yeah. It does. It does feel like, and this is in a way, this does feel like a TV movie. So. And I yeah. think that's maybe where, um, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it does. Way. And even the, the into the dark supports a, a TV movie because it's very. very it is, yeah, it's tame. It's tame in that mm -hmm. respect. But I, I, yeah, and I don't know if it's, but you know, there, there is the whole COVID thing because the last two films in this series got affected by it. I, I don't know if this was you know, during or after, or it was done before, but they couldn't complete it. But, you know, it got pushed back. This one and the previous one we did got pushed back to the spring when they should have been in the fall of last year. Um, mm. And I don't know if that affected things, but it just feels, yeah, it just, it's it's weaker than I want it to be, especially the strength of the concept and the, and the strength mm. of the actors involved. And the direction. I, I really think it was directed well. I, I love the... The scenery, you know, the the desert scenery. Um. I almost wish now that I know that it was the director of the wind. I almost wish it was more atmospheric because that would have been better than the story. It could it could I have used it. a little bit more of. I said it. Atmosphere in it, right? So. Yeah. But that's not what they were after. They were after. But that's not the point their, exactly. It was, this, this was, that wasn't this wasn't that kind of movie. This was yeah. a. It's domestic yeah. with a twist, right? Yeah. So, yep. And it's a good twist and a strong twist and a very it's interesting a twist. twist. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. it's presented in a movie of the week way. And yeah, I 
although I don't think I'd turn it off if I were, were watching it, not in a respect where I have to finish it, right? There are there have been a couple of films that I just oh. said, you know what? I'm not watching the rest of this damn movie. This movie's <laughs> stupid. Um, I won't name names, but there have been a few of them in the past couple of weeks where I'm like, I'm not wasting any more time. <laughs> get, the, get the hell off my screen. I wouldn't do it to this one, but I wouldn't no. be thrilled either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oops. There we go. There so, we go. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Let's give our final thoughts, our score, <laughs> one to five, and our favorite scene. All right, but before we do, if you're still listening, we want to thank you so much for hanging out with us. We hope you're enjoying these reviews. There are many more uh, to check out. Um, we hope you enjoy those. If you would like to support us and want to, it's really easy to do. It's free. Hit the subscribe button or share with a friend. Either one of those would do us a lot of good, and we thank you so much. Uh, if you want to get a little more involved, you can hit the like button, dislike button. You can hit the bell uh, to get reminded about other ones. Um, and you can also leave us some comments. Um, tell us we're wrong. Tell us why we're wrong. We'd love to hear it. Uh, tell us we're right. Tell, that's fine, too. Um, but we'd love to hear your opinions. And for those who have been leaving those opinions, we thank you so much. They're, uh, they're a blast to hear and read or whatever you know what i mean <laughs> um we also want to take a quick moment to thank our patrons over at patreon without their patronage there's a lot of repetition there but without them we would not be able to do not only the gruesome magazine podcast horror news radio decades of horror and heroes and droids a lot of cool content and a variety of topics from streaming to horror in the theaters hopefully soon to classic films and to the sci-fi stuff and superheroes you want to you want to follow your uh, WandaVisions and your Falcons and your Winter Soldiers. That's where you want to be. Uh, but thank you all so much. All right, let's do this. Uh, final thoughts, our score and favorite scene. Jeff, sir, you are up first. I am. I I enjoyed this. I thought it was a nice little twist on a werewolf story, and I think the the mother's because it was her child. It sort of justified the a lot of what she did. Um, we we mentioned the bar dealer and the actors. I love the the actors. Uh, so um, I'm going to give this a three. Nice. And uh, my favorite scene. This will sound weird, but when mom it, it, it comes to that time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're not talking mom, about that time. <laughs> mom shows him what's for dinner. He says, well, "That's not fresh enough." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was cute. <laughs> I just love that line because it it answered a, a question that I had about what was going on. I'm like, "Well, you can't just keep doing that every month. Somebody's going to yeah. notice." So anyway, that's exactly. What I was like, "Really? Oh boy." Oof. <laughs> Actually, what would have been awesome is if they had like attributed that to like cattle mutilations or something funny like that. I would have died. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. oh, like, oh so that's how up. that happens. <laughs> 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 All right, Crystal, what, what's your final thoughts, your score, and favorite scene? So it's on Hulu, and so you should watch it, obviously. It's a werewolf movie. It's got, like I said, interesting concept and good actors, but it's flat and it's going to leave most of you feeling flat i believe and don't be looking for anything super good and gory because you're not going to find it here but i'm going to give it a 2.75 nice and yeah my favorite scene is <laughs> this killed me um when she pulls her baby out of the little dog crate mm. in the beginning i was dead <laughs> i was so dead i was like that's one of those little like end table dog. <laughs> the baby's that's funny. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm with it you. Worked, a cute though. little it touch. Worked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, well, when he's little, yeah. Well, little they have baby. to build the crates later. Yeah, and that's part of the story. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I there, there's a lot to like about this movie, and but yet it still falls flat, like you said. Um, if you're wanting ginger snaps or something like that, you're not going to get it here. And and it's not trying to be that. Let's be fair. It's it's mm -hmm. actually trying to be what it is, but it it lacked for me. Um, at the same time, the acting is strong, the direction is strong, the concept is is 
is better than what we end up with, unfortunately. Um, I'm I'm gonna give it a three as well. Oh, okay. Because I think it is strong enough. Uh, Traitor. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, the it's 25%. Um, anyway, uh, it's uh, <laughs> so my favorite scene. What do I want to do for my favorite scene? My favorite scene, um, I, I, I want to do the cow field, but that's not really my favorite scene. Uh, my favorite scene is um, is a, a flashback. And this, okay, uh, here, I'm either being ironic or a hypocrite, and I don't know which, but it's actually a very, very, lifetimey kind of scene but i, oh, I already know. i already yeah. admitted that i love the chemistry between our uh, the, mm -hmm. the mother and the father uh, that we get in the flashbacks and he's got wounds and uh, you you kind of feel that he's why he's got the wounds or why he's sore or whatever and she's he says yeah i need some aspirin we get the aspirin and when she does she pulls the as pours the aspirin out and it's a ring and <sighs> to me that moment just sold these two characters, but it's such a it's such a lifetime moment, isn't it? Isn't it? You you're you're so disappointing right now. Am oh I? Yeah. <laughs> should I should yeah. I went, should I went with the uh, the cow pop scene instead or what? Mm -hmm. What should I have chosen? What should I have chosen? It's, it's a choice. It's a choice. It's a I choice. don't know. I, no, it was a cute scene. It was cute. <laughs> I, I mean, really I did them. like them too. I I would have liked just like them covered in blood more. That's all. Yeah. I guess. But I thought the uh, the kid. But I would see this kid as being a one of theirs. Oh, totally! It was, Actually, it was such a great casting. I wish Ooh. they hadn't killed off the father, honestly. Because mm -hmm. I think it'd be more Jack fun Yang. as a family. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right. Well, there you go. That's our review for Into the Dark Blood Moon. Uh, one of the many uh, of the series of Into the Dark on Hulu streaming now. I have not heard, and I don't know if either of you have heard, that if they're going to continue doing this, uh, I hope so. Blumhouse is all over the place. They're doing oh, yeah. films everywhere. Um, it'll be interesting to see if they have a third season. I have enjoyed watching the first two seasons and would continue watching more. Totally. So I hope they do so. Um, some really, I it's. It's just, it's just fun. It's just it's monthly content that you know mm -hmm. tackles something different every time. And it's time. always original yeah. and it's new. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, and I, I like the effort. I like the effort. So thank you all so much. All right, Crystal, Jeff, thank you for joining me. This was uh, again, as always, a lot of fun, and I really am happy you're here to talk about. Thanks for having us. Yay! All right, let's say good night. Good night. Good Not good night. 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 Oh. Oh. You win! You win! <laughs>